Everyone, thanks for joining us. Tropical Storm Dolly has splashed across Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and is now in the open waters of the Gulf. That's where the oil industry is always on alert during hurricane season. And this is now a mandatory evacuation for about 3,000 people. You have to get out. If you are in that area, you have to get out. State police and local police are going door to door. We're seeing more and more cars drive by. You just saw one, people coming out and sightseeing. Not the best idea because there is still so much glass in the road from all the windows that blew out. Any reason you're not paying your child support? The need is so great in Vermilion Parish that this entire barn could be filled with bags of feed and bales of hay, and it still wouldn't be enough to get them through the winter. Getting around New Orleans is pretty easy these days because there's not a lot of traffic. The trolley is also not running at this point. You can see the trolley path has really become a parking lot for people's cars. Finally, there's Lucky, and then there's Kenneth Anderson of Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Kenneth was eating in his favorite cafe last week, as he does most days, when an out-of-control SUV going 55 miles an hour slammed into his booth. The collision sent him across the room, but cool Kenneth simply grabs his hat and belongings and gets up with only minor injuries. He's part cat, I do believe. <laughs> I know. I think he has two lives at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> See you at six, everybody. They're pounding and tearing apart. Piece by piece, a home in the Ninth Ward is gutted so it can be put back together again. There's so much to be done, but it's got to be started somewhere. Abby Stout is a 17-year-old from Iowa. She's spending her last week of summer amid sheetrock, littering the floor of a home owned by a family she's never even met. 30 teenagers from an Iowa Baptist church made the long trip to the Ninth Ward to help families who up until now had no hope of moving back home. You have taken all of, all of this? this today. Got it. Like the shirt on his back says, these volunteers are offering relief in an area where most homes sit empty. Oh, it's horrible. Even if we're doing just a small bit, you know, um, but it's like starting that like life again for him. In a neighborhood that looks abandoned even a year after Hurricane Katrina, this pile of torn out walls and scraps of furniture is a sign that this house will become a home again. In New Orleans, Julie Kelly, KTC TV3, Acadiana's News Channel. ATC's Megan Shearing is live in Intracoastal City. That's where the oil industry is always on alert during hurricane season. And what's happening there, Megan? Parish by parish headlines begin with a home destroyed by fire. It happened on Lindsay Circle in Karen Crow. The homeowners got out alive, but not before risking their own lives to save some furry family members. KTC's Kate Mundy joins us now with their story. Kate. Possession of marijuana. An accused child predator is off the streets of St. Mary Parish. A sheriff spokesman says Fernando Rosano of Generat was wanted on a warrant out of Polk County, Texas. He's facing charges of aggravated assault on a juvenile and indecency with a child. Conflicting reports on a B-52 bomber from Barksdale Air Force Base that crashed off the coast of Guam. There were six crew members aboard that plane similar to this one when it went down. A Shreveport TV station cites a high-ranking Pentagon official as saying four sets of remains have been recovered. The Air Force is only confirming two deaths. The identities of the people on board have not been released. The first U.S. military war crimes trial since World War II is getting underway at the U.S. Naval Base at Guam. Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. A jury of military officers is being selected for the trial of Salim Hamdan. He's the accused driver and bodyguard of Osama bin Laden. The Congress and the President of the United States show the world. Military prosecutors hope the trial will prove that such tribunals can work. But even the former top prosecutor at Gitmo has doubts. As long as you have waterboarded, the system is going to be suspect. Nineteen other terror suspects are also set for trial, including confessed 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. In Iraq today. It's day three of a whirlwind Mideast tour. ABC's TJ Winnick has details. Obama's Republican rival John McCain made the rounds of the morning talk shows today. He says Obama's trip to Iraq vindicates his long support of the surge. He was wrong. And still to come on KTC, oil prices have backed off from record levels. But how low must they go for how long before we start seeing some relief at the pump? We're going to break down the numbers at 521.
I remember the day I came to work and the state police called us and they said, please put out the word that we need people to come with flat bottom boats to the mall tomorrow morning. And the next day, you know, hundreds of people showed up and you could see boats lined up at the mall. As far as your eye could see, people in Acadiana were going to step up and they weren't going to wait for someone else to come rescue us out of this terrible situation. They were going to get up, get their boats, and go out and do something. And that just says everything about you know, where we live and the people who live here.